into the next episode of Tech It. And the last episode, we uh, were playing around with lamps and insulated wire. So we got all of our resort this. Oops. Oh, now it's all jacked up. Yeah, we're playing around with the insulated wire, playing around with some lamps. And we got some better lighting going on in our factory. Can't really see it. I guess you can a little bit. So, so far nothing seems to have spawned in there. So I think we've done good on the lighting. Now, in this episode, I really want to start heading back toward the village so we can find out what has happened. Because I hooked the quarry back up and nothing's happening. Nothing's coming through the teleport pipe. I'm, I've double-checked. I'm sure I've got the right frequency. So... I think it's a matter of just the world anchors not working, and once we get into that area, it'll fix itself. But before we head out, I uh, just I wanted to take this time to show off a couple of uh, dark matter things, uh, getting back into dark matter. Now, as you notice, we had several stacks of diamonds. I've turned a bunch of it into antinalis fuel and dark matter uh, for something I want to something I want to show, and I'm actually going to need. One of those diamonds. <laughs> uh, first thing I'm going to do for uh, for something I'm about to make is I need to make another alchemical chest real quick. Wasn't really thinking ahead. <laughs> and I'm also going to need a furnace, uh, two stone, and two iron. Oop, that's right. I moved all the iron. Okay, to the bedroom, to the house. All right, just need two iron. All right, I'm gonna make another alchemical chest real quick for what we're what I'm gonna show. Uh, whoops, I need the ch actual chest. Oh Jesus! Ah, there we go. Uh, yep, yep. It's like that. I don't think that's right. I think the stone and the iron need to be flipped. No, oh, no. Okay, alchemical chest. All right, so. Let's get into the dark matter. First thing we're gonna do is I need eight dark matter, and we're gonna want to take four and just put it together like this to get us four dark matter blocks. We're gonna need eight of those. Boom! Eight dark matter blocks. Now we can take these eight dark matter blocks and surround a furnace, and this will get us a dark matter furnace. And you can already see from the EMC value it is quite an expensive piece of equipment, but it uh, it will be well worth it. So now we're going to get a bunch of this iron out. Uh, the dark matter furnace is is really cool, and we need a spot to put it. I guess, could I have put it in there? Yeah, actually, let's, let's put it in here. I actually didn't need the other alchemical chest, come to think of it. That's why I didn't make one. Uh, what you can do is, I will set that down there. Now, this is the Dark Matter Furnace. It's got a really large inventory of space. Uh, basically, it, uh, you know, that's what you're smelting. This is actually the input, so you can just fill this sucker up with stuff. And so that's your input. It'll automatically use it, and this is your this is your output. It does require fuel, and the best thing to use is Adrenalis fuel. Very efficient. Uh, just make you a stack if you got some spare diamonds. Just make you a stack, stick it in there, and you'll probably never have to think about it ever again. Now I'll do that in a second. I'll put that iron up. Uh, I mainly use the dark matter furnace for cooking a bunch of refined iron on mass because you can't transmute refined iron. Refined iron doesn't have an EMC value. Uh, and this is just faster. It's a lot faster than a blue electric furnace. It's a little bit faster. Uh, I'm not sure how it is compared to the induction furnace that we have in there, but it's uh, it's it's pretty good speed. It's pretty good speed. Uh, but like I said, it's I mainly use it for cooking a bunch of refined iron. And you need a bunch of refined iron when you get into uh, solar panels, which I'd like to make a, a high voltage at some point. So I've made the start matter furnace. I've purposely set it next to an alchemical chest because the furnace will actually use the chest as an output inventory. And you don't even have to use a pipe. So, I mean, so you just do this right here. Set, 
set your dark matter furnace or red matter furnace if you know if you have one set it next to your alchemical chest and basically it'll use this first output slot but once it starts to cook some once it gets full and it would go to move it to there it will instead put it into the alchemical chest so this part will actually never get filled unless the chest is full now if you've got a sorting system like this and you've used the alchemical chest as your dropbox chest this will basically send your refined iron through the sorting system and I believe I sorted refined iron let's hope I did so this will all end up in our ingots chest once I once I drop the fuel in so boom and see how fast it goes cooks very quickly it also emits a little particle effect while it's cooking it's kinda cool and we'll see here in a second actually I'm gonna wanna take a full stack of that because right now I think it well the the sorting machine will suck the full stack out yep see there goes the full stack but once it gets to this sorting machine, I think it might have a problem. Yeah, it's only going to start pulling out one at a time. So, hurry up and get down here. Give me the whole stack. Click, 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 click. Okay, I got it. So, I'm going to put this whole stack there. So that way, when the whole stack reaches this chest, this sorting machine will also pull out the whole stack and stick it in here. Uh, now I need a place... I need another... Oh, here comes another one. <laughs> See how fast that was? It's very quick. Very quick. Okay. Guys, uh, give me the... Well, actually, we can watch it in action. It'll go right up into this chest here. Alright. I'm going to rig this up so it'll at least go here sensibly. So, that should be pretty cool. Right? Right. So yeah, we're gonna get a gonna get a bunch of refined iron. By the time we're done. Uh how do I get out of here? There we go. Yeah, see, look, it's already gone through almost four stacks of iron and it's only used one eight analysis fuel. It's very efficient. Very efficient. Uh next thing is yeah, it's going to fill up nicely. Uh, I guess we can put that chest up. Oh, actually, no, I need that chest, come to think of it. I'll need that chest later. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to reassess my armor here. We've, we've had this nano armor for a while. It was really easy to make, and it, it protects pretty well, but it does have a charge. That's my biggest complaint about this armor. Granted, it does stay charged for a really long time, I mean, the helmet is still fully charged, the body armor, or the chest plate is still fully charged, the leggings have lost one point, the boots have lost the most. Now, now that we're into dark matter, I want to try out the dark matter gear. And you make it as you would, you know, anything else. Plate, helmet, boots, and leggings. So... You make it as you would any other armor, just out of dark matter. And I'm going to stick that on. Heck yeah. Got a nice, nice suit. Nice suit of dark matter. You know, I, I figured it would be good for a, a change. You know, we've had that nano armor for a while, and, you know, we're on a new area, so why not have a new, new uniform? Uh, from reading, I believe the dark matter armor will protect it's better than diamond it's indestructible and it will protect you for I want to say I wonder if that works because that's a tier one charging bench yeah that doesn't work <laughs> we need a tier two charging bench for that which ah we can now build because we have our MFSU hooked up <laughs> Let's let's do that real quick because it doesn't require much. Industrial craft, I believe it's three gold bars. If I'm not mistaken, or three gold wires. I'm sorry. So we'll make that real quick. 
three gold wires. Do three. It's also a circuit. I left the redstone in the alloy furnace. Oh, and it is wood. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I believe it's five. We're, we're moving on up, making a tier two charging bench. Whoop. Let me in. Uh, yes. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ah, that's the only two we have left. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's get in here. So, how's this doing? Oh, see, look at that. It did all that iron and only used one bit of it. Now it's fuel. Ah, oh, beautiful. I might actually do more, but let's just get a couple stacks of redstone. Okay, okay, it's good enough, good enough, good enough. Okay. Make our circuit. Sorry about the clicking. Uh, it, like I said, it doesn't happen in multiplayer, I'm pretty sure. And there we go, charging bench mach tuch. Mach tuch. Now let's go up to our medium voltage transformer, because that's where we have access to uh, medium voltage power. Oh. What's happened? Oh, it's running out of power. Obviously this isn't going anywhere, so... I'm going to disconnect it. Ah, the energy link is not drawing power. Uh, where did that go, anyway? Come here. Let's just stick that there. I can move it later. <laughs> Alright, tier 2 charging bench. Boom. And it receives power. And we'll just throw those in. And there we go. Charging right up. Charging right up. And we can actually get the Mark III charging bench and probably stick it right there, I would say. And that way we could charge quantum armor when we get to that point. Yeah, baby. Eh. I guess that's staying a good charge. Wonder. Yep, yeah, okay, you're done charging. Are you getting power? Okay, that should be alright. Maybe I should, uh. Yeah, I should move this. <laughs> uh, come back here, bag. Okay, I'll put that down. We'll replace that later. Because <laughs> obviously it's not working at the moment. Even though I kind of need it there now, but... Whatevs. We'll, we'll get it. Okay, so we got a Mark II charging bench. We got a set of dark matter armor. And we've got... A... Uh, just said dark matter armor, and we've got a dark matter furnace. Alright, now, it's time to begin our journey back to the village, because we need to figure out what's going on. We need to find out why the quarry isn't working, why we're not getting cactus. Something's going on. So we're going to start on our journey uh, back to the village. Now, instead of going over land, I'm actually going to go back to the nether, and I'm going to get about halfway between this portal and the old portal, and I'm going to set up a new one. I'm going to create kind of a midway station in between our old, the village and our island out here. And I think that midway station is where I'm going to do railcraft. So, because we've kind of taken this whole island a little bit. I, there's not really much more room left, unless I want to branch out to the desert, you know, the jungle and the oasis and all that. So, uh, one thing before we go, though, I need to get a couple of world, a couple more world anchors, because I've only got one. So, let's get, let's get a world anchor per building. So, let's get a world anchor in here, world anchor in the house, 
and a world anchor in the factory. Important stuff. Two, four, six. yeah, it's three. Ah, uh, there was a thing of black wool I just goofed in there. Gray wool. Why is it in there? Should be in the junk chest. Uh, gold. Oh, that could be a problem. Oh, no, it's not. Come here. Just make a bunch. Okay. Yeah, we're out of diamonds again. <laughs> and we'll just do that. Not that we're going to get that much gold, but whatevs. Choose the project table. Make it easier on ourselves. Oh, there's still some glass in there. Give me that. All right. Put the glass. Put the glass up. Put the gold up. Whoops. Put the gold up. And let's set these down. Okay, we want one in the house. We've got one in the workshop already. We want one in the house. Let's put it in that corner. We want one in the vault somewhere. Uh, let's put it there. And we want one in the factory. Yeah, where are we going to put this sucker? Kind of should probably put it in the middle. Uh, I know where we can put it. Let's put it up in the tower. Well, actually, it may not effectively reach everywhere in the tower. I think... Let's put it in the floor here. Boom. So it's right here in the middle of the factory. It should reach everywhere. I've heard conflicting things about the range of these world anchors but that should reach that should encompass the entire factory I would imagine if not we can fix it later I'll just leave that there it's not worth it okay I'm prepared for my journey got enough obsidian to make another portal got a flint and steel got my bags got my ring of ignition to protect me from uh, lava and fire. I've got my mining laser. Figured we'd get some ores if we see any. And uh, I got my Evertide amulet in case we get, you know, clogged up in some water. <laughs> and got plenty of torches. All right, so let's figure out how to get back down here. We. Okay, back through the portal we go.